Hello there, Chaz here, and I just picked up Alien Isolation because it is on sale until the 30th of March, so I'm glad I kind of got in on that. And I've been waiting to play this game until I finally, you know, got my internet upgraded, so... Well, I've been waiting to buy this game until I finally got it upgraded, so I'm pretty glad that it was on sale for so cheap. It's 75% off for the main game, and 50% off for the season pass, so I figured I'd get both, why not? Um, right. So there's the main campaign and survivor mode challenges. I'm going to start with the main campaign. Ooh, difficulty. Um, thrilling experience, greatest chance of survival, increased chance of survival. Still a chance, but you may survive. I'll try medium. Okay, just a slider until the Seekson logo is barely visible against the background. Let's see. That's about right for me. It might show up darker for you guys, but, you know. There are a lot of missing people in the station. Collect their ID tags to find out more. Notice this above and below your indicators are something th that something is lurking nearby. That's comforting. Sega presents in association with 20th Century Fox. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett. and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know while you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Okay. Ooh. 
going to get subtitles yet because I did enable subtitles. Ooh, please sign in. Okay. Oop, I kicked off my sandals apparently. <laughs> Little slippers. Alright. Let's sign in. A Ripley. Right, I've got to explore the Torrens. Nice. This is gonna be interesting. One of the reasons I wanted to pick up this game was because I really like I really like chunky 1980s spaceships. Well this is like late 1970s, but that's a Simo figure. Alright, I should probably get dressed. Um but yeah, I like the I like this chunky eighties ish aesthetic. Um, and I really want that routine game to come out soon, but I'm gonna wait until that's done, so this is gonna tide me over in the meantime. Personal storage, personal storage. Is this mine? Is this mine? I don't know which one of these is mine. I can't go around not dressed. Use registration points to manually save your progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. This is a registration point. No, it's a shower. <laughs> <laughs> well, glad I did that. Oh, is this a registration point? I got an achievement, a record of disaster. Just missed you. Uh, Verlaine, you're on the lookout for a navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The Megacore on uh, the Megacore undercut him. Picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies. I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still, I hear you Whale and Yutani pay well. Good luck to you. If you can't beat them, right? Let's catch up when you get back. Blaine. Alright. So that's that. Oops. Wrong button. Uh, ah, there we go. So where's this registration thing? I guess it was the thing I signed in at previously. It's not those things. I love how chunky everything looks though. Look at, look at that tiny little robot. It's adorable. Tiny little chunky robot. Very personal. Oh, the, this thing that's blinking. That's what it is. Um, oh, okay, I just turned that on and off. Alright, let's just get dressed then. Sweet. Objective complete. I got dressed. Oh, this is a registration thing, okay. Let's save my game. Uh, yeah. Done. Nice. I gotta go back this way. Ooh, that's just. It's one of those suits. That's really cool. Nice. I have to. I have to confess straight up that I have not watched the Alien movies. Well, I haven't watched them in quite some time. So I'm not fully caught up on the lore, as it were. But you know. Hey, bro. Uh, Ripley. Samuels. Did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Alright, cool. I'm gonna go find Samuels and speak to her. Just an average day when the knots throw up. Ooh. Ooh. Things. CO2, O2 filter control. Access for science and technical officers only. Well, damn, I'm an engineer and not technical. Why did they move me away from technical? 
Ooh, lights. Fancy lights. I'm a technical officer, damn it. Well, Amanda probably isn't, but I am. <laughs> I've got to make sure I distinguish between character and player, I suppose. CO1? What about CO2? What a lame joke. Have I just walked around in a circle? I think I have. There's CO2. <laughs> oh, door's locked. Okay, I haven't walked around in a circle, that's good. CO3, CO4, what are these COs for? I don't know. CO5. Hmm. And I just realized that I haven't actually you know, taken note of um, how long I'm recording for, so I'm just going to stop whenever. <laughs> I can afford to upload at pretty much any speed. Ah! Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Wayland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Okay, I spoke to Taylor. All personnel to the bridge, approaching Sebastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Oop. Alright. I'm gonna go check this terminal first. Another LM link. Oh my god, these chunky computers. Regarding Nostroma incident. To end Taylor. Uh, Ari, Nostroma incident. Wayland Utani file. Numbers. Hey Taylor, I got your case request. It may take me a while to dig out the files in the incident. It happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, the Wayland Utani cargo vessel, the UCS, no, the USCSS Nostromo, went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew. Apart from a new science officer, the rest of the crew had worked together before, seven in all. Uh, Dallas Captain, Ash Science Officer, Kane, or is it Kane? Executive Officer, Ripley Warrant Officer, Lambert Navigation Officer, and. Um. Oop, shared. Torrens Manifest. Ooh, this one scrolls. Okay. Uh, Verlaine Dan. Navigator, Calm Officer, Connor William. Owner, Verlaine Dan. Contractor, Wayland Utani. Outbound and return transportation for Wayland Utani Retrieval Team to Sebastopol Station. Team consists of three WY employees uh, Samuel C., Ripley A., Taylor N. Passengers Samuels, Christopher, Ripley Amanda, Taylor Nina. Number of decks two, number of crew two. Interstellar, uh, interstellar communications antenna, long haul hypersleep chamber. Commercial passenger cargo ship retrofitted from a tow rig. Retains operational heavy duty tow umbilical. Cool. And I pressed the wrong button again. Sweet. Okay, I should probably actually look and see where they went. It's probably this way. Sorry it took so long, I was reading lore. Hope you all had a restful journey. Hi. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sebastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Okay. Uh, briefing documents. That would be this. Ooh, awake. That's my achievement. You. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Nice. Is that damage? It looks like damage. 
Punch up 74. Tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair registration number MSV7760 calling Sebastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whaling. You Tawny Bond, you're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Marshall? Mar Marshall, this is the Torrent. Say again. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted Samuel suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Samuels, we hardly knew you, I suppose. The alien has heightened senses. It will spot you quicker than humans or androids. Survivors on the station are just trying to stay alive. Don't mess with them, and they won't mess with you. Alright. I'll stop the recording after I've had my first few, you know, proper scares. That should be happening soon, right? Ooh, I like the I like the suit. Find help. Alright. Let's just change up my suit. Ah, that's better. Right. Oh, already things are pretty dark. Oh, never mind, they just lit up. Nice. Use registration points to manually save the progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. How does, um... How do they warn me? <laughs> because I should probably know this. All I know is it warns me if enemies are nearby. <laughs> Lights on at least a little bit oh. so that the players can see. Oh. Okay, there's no subtitles. Let me just Let's see audio. Oh, I thought I turned them on. I'm sorry. Well, now I know. I guess it just didn't carry over between. Sebastopol stability compromised. Proceed to the nearest 
nearest Marshall checkpoint and stand by while orbital stabilizers realign. Okay, so could get to waypoint or something? Ooh. I can climb through this thing. Okay, so if anything scary happens between now and when I get back, uh, or, I don't know, things are already starting to get a little bit scary, to be quite honest. But the next registration point, I guess, that I find will be where I sign in, or yeah, where I, like, stop the video. Sylvester Link. Folder corrupted, shared, folder corrupted. So, boys and girls, you've probably heard the whispers about Sevastopol by now, and I can confirm it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. I'll go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and the next placement, but for now, we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help, but it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to Marshall Waits. From the Chief. Right. That's all well and good. Space flight control. Employees only. I'm sure I, ha I can come in here. Oh god! Ow. I'm sure I was supposed to do that. God damn. Ooh, flare. Might be useful. This'll help. Okay, Q to open the radial inventory. Oh, I like that. I like how that looks. I wonder what that number's for, though. It keeps counting up. Is it like a timer? Just make my way through these flaps. What's this say? Uh, someone knew. You always know a working Joe. A working Joe. Forgotten. The strangers will be. Shot. No entry. This is foreboding. Moving. Or something, I don't know. I can't read much of this uh, writing. Bonding agent. Blue! Find blueprints to help you craft items from the components you collect. Alright, cool. Is there anything else I need to see here? I feel like I might be missing something down there. Let's just have a quick run down this way and see. I'm sure no harm will come of it. Let's see, in through the flaps. Oh jeez. Things are shaking, things are shuddering. But my curiosity has been rewarded with an SCJ injector and some bonding agent. Right, I should freak out of here before anything happens. Excuse me. Um, okay. I don't know what an SCJ injector is. Let me check my. Well, it's nothing I can use right now. Hmm. Alright, let's 
just keep climbing. I'm sure nothing bad will happen when I get to the top of this ladder. Hey, there we go. My usual mantra worked. What's this? Oh. Okay, ready with compound B. Scrap. I'm gathering many supplies. Alright, what's through this door? Hello? Anyone here? You can speak louder than that, Amanda. Oh well, I mean you probably shouldn't, but you can. If you're looking to if you're looking to alert the attention of anybody who might hear you, you don't want to whisper. Although I know the minute I shout, I'm just gonna like what terminals? Oh, there's a terminal in here. I can update my map. I think. What do I? Come on. Oh. Turn on the generator. We've got a terminal. Uh, Langley, if you're looking for a stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Um, oops. Don't worry, no one goes down to the terminal anymore. Not after what happened. Also, we're out of meds and low on water, so you're, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe it will teach you to take care of our stuff in future. Anna. Okay. Let's go back. Goodbye from Seekson. Uh, we've had a long journey together, but sadly it's coming to an end. Seekson Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who worked and lived at Seekson. But uh, Sevastopol over the years, and hopes that Seekson has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment and belief in the station has never wavered. That wavered. Be assured that Seekson's Apollo Central AI and working Joe androids will be there to serve Sevastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sevastopol isn't just a station, it's people. <gasps> Sevastopol is people! I'm sorry. Ah, wrong button again. <laughs> Audio. Kill the power. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait up. Oops. Alright. Power junction D13 departures. Restore power to departures. Okay. <coughs> Here's another save game point. Yep. I don't like that you can look around when you're saving. That seems foreboding. Right as I say that, I hear some sounds from above me. Okay, I think... Let me check how long I've been recording. Almost half an hour. I think now would be a good time for me to leave off. Um... I do want to. I do want to do more of this, so I think I'm going to do another recording immediately after this. But I just want to break it into like half-hour chunks. So I shall see you all later. Goodbye. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> uh, goodbye for real this time, or see you next episode rather.